All right. You ready? Yep. Go for it, pal. Welcome, troops. Back at you again. General Stames here with Hollywood Edwards. Hollywood, big night tonight, Saturday night. G1 Supercard. Fantastic mm. show. I mean, I wish the WWE all the mm. luck in the world trying to match that card at Madison Square Garden, the home of the WWE, <laughs> the house that Hogan built. Or Bruno. Or Bruno. Uh, but, bro, that's what I'm here to talk about right now is that as the G1 Supercard was going on, the WWE Hall of Fame was also going on. And Triple H was in the ring with his boys from DX. They were inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And he seemed to take some shots at AEW. Uh, yes. They did some joking around about the corporate stuff these days, and Triple H made the comment that apparently these days, if you put the EVP title in front of someone, it makes them feel important. Uh, EVP, Executive Vice President. Of course, he's talking about Cody Rhodes, Kenny Omega, and the Young Bucks. Yes. He then referred to the AEW as a pissant company. And they joked around uh, about Vince McMahon, and Billy Gunn made the comment that Vince couldn't fire him anymore, to which Triple H again said, Hold on, hold on, Billy, let's be honest. Vince would buy that pissant company just to fire you again. And then everybody laughed, and Sean made the comment that you can always count on old Billy Gunn to overpromise and underdeliver. We thank you for being out here and being all in. Now, a couple of ways to look at this. Number one, they're giving AEW, whether they realize it or not, they're giving them some promotion here. Is that a wise thing to do, do you think? I mean, I get it, they're trying to bury them, but in that you're trying to bury them, you are mentioning their name. And I would think that that would be something that Vince McMahon would not want to do. I wouldn't doubt that. No, I didn't get to see this, but I was told about it. Shout out Q. And, uh, I saw some articles already written about it on the sheets. But I wouldn't be surprised if Vince McMahon maybe mentioned something to Triple H before they went home tonight. Or to their apartments, or I mean their hotels. Uh, first of all, you don't give him promotion at all. If I'm Vince, I'm pissed off. He's Billy Gunn, he's in DX. That's why he's there. So, that's my first thing to answer your question. Yeah. So what do you think about his comments? I mean, what's going on here is I, I, I did notice that some people are saying, ah, oh, they were just joking around. That was DX being DX. I watched a video. I'm not so sure it was just DX being DX, to be honest with you. I think there were, you know, it seemed like there could be something to this. The shot that he took with the EVP. Mm -hmm. remark, Jealous. Jealousy, by the way. But go ahead. Yeah. That is not, to me, that is not just a joke. That you're taking a shot at somebody. And look, let's face it. The four guys that he's talking about that are the executive vice presidents, they all have a WWE history. Now, I know you're sitting out there going, no, they don't. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, well, here's the history. Cody Rhodes was in the WWE. He left. He didn't re-sign his contract. Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks were all three sought after by the WWE. They were all three offered big deals by the WWE. All three of them turned the WWE down. Yep. You got to wonder, are there hard feelings? Hollywood, what do you think? Yeah, well, if you don't sign, you're getting buried by trips. The EVP comment, he's just pissed off that at 20... How old is Nick and Matt? They're like, what, 27 and 30 or whatever the hell. He's just pissed off that he married into the family and he doesn't have as good a health insurance as they do. That's what he's pissed off about. He doesn't have a title. He doesn't have a title like that at that age. That's what he's pissed off about. 
And and I'm sure in his mind, he's now officially, because Billy Gunn got hired by them, he's now officially the guy that's saying, oh, he's a money mark. They're just marking on Khan's money. Now, now all of a sudden, even though he married into the family, right? And he is using his father-in-law's money to go play down there in Florida. True. Which, which, oh, by the way, isn't making them a dime. Now, of course, people are going to listen to that and go, oh, they just sold out the Barclays Center. Yeah, well, guess what? Go listen to what Triple H says when he's asked if NXT is profitable. He dances around the question. He dances around the question. He dances around the question. He did it two or three weeks ago, and he just did it this week because he was asked the same question, and he had to dance around it because he knows it's, it's piss-poor bullshit, and they're spending too much damn money on a bunch of guys that nobody knows and nobody's watching on their network. Listen, we had a show just a few weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, where we actually talked about the uh, shareholders meeting. Yes, yes, exactly. And they said in that in that meeting, they went on and talked about NXT and how it was a losing it was a losing money kind of effort. Mm -hmm. They're taking it on the chin with NXT, but they feel like they have to do it because it's developmental. Right. So, listen, I, I hear you. Okay, they sold out the Barclay Center. They're still losing money. That's just a fact. And if you don't believe it, go back to that last quarterly meeting and read the words. Or look for the show. Scroll down, look for the show. It's there. We talk about it. And we pretty much, on that show, I believe I read and quote verbatim what is being said. About NXT. Yes. Yes, you did. They're losing money. Any, Anyway, the pissant comment. Oh, is this, this, this is a good one. Is this smart? Because, listen, you're dealing with a guy, a family, who is very successful in business. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of money. Your company is on the verge of spending a lot of money to go play football. Vince McMahon himself sold a bunch of stock just last week to have more money for the football league. Mm -hmm. You're going to throw out the word pissant and call this company a pissant company. What are you trying to do? They're out there saying that they're not competing with the WWE. They're out there. Every time they're asked about the WWE, all you hear is respect and admiration. Now you're going to call them a pissant company? Are you trying to? Are you trying to piss them off? Why would you want to do that? Yeah, you know it's the, it doesn't make sense either because I mean, this is Triple H. This is ego boy out of control, and I don't care if he he disguised it in a joke. I don't care if he was joking and playing with his. I'm just joking with my buddy. Yeah. Uh, no, bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on Triple H right here. Because you hear Tony Khan in interviews. He always says, no, we're not going after McMahon. No, I'm not buying ROH. No, I'm not going to do any of that. We're just going to do our thing and let what happens happen. Triple H tonight is launching nuclear bombs. Why? What are you worried about, Trips? Let me tell you what he's worried about. I could see this coming from a mile away. You know what he's worried about? What have they been doing to replenish their roster for the past 10 years? What have they been doing? I want to see if you say what, I, what I'm thinking. Who, the WWE? Yes. What are they doing to replenish their roster? Yeah. What are they doing? I don't know. I guess they're bringing in from where? everybody everybody they can from ROH. Right. Guess what? That just ended. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Listen. We have a guy on this uh, channel up there in the north, northeast. And he knows a lot of these guys. And because he goes to northeast wrestling show, shows, this is where a lot of these guys are coming from. The kingdom. Going back to Bennett before he even signed with anybody. Okay? I can tell you, dude, I can tell you, 
Fact. He's talking to some of these guys right now, and they are telling him they're laughing at the developmental deals that are being offered to them from NXT. Do you know why? Because the Young Bucks have proven that you don't need to go to the WWE to make money, to promote yourself. So Triple H can launch all the fire that he wants to at AEW, unwarranted, by the way. But what do you think the, those those indie wrestlers right now that are coming up through are going to think? What they're going to do is they're going to go down to ROH, just like this is the cycle for the past 10 years. NEW, ROH, Japan, NXT. It stops. It's done. I'm telling you it's done. Because now, instead of that, they're going to have a choice to make. And keep in mind, some of the guys coming up right now, AEW isn't established yet. It's, according to Jim Ross, October, this October, two-hour TV show. It's official. Done. Okay? So let's fast forward to a year from now or two years from now. They're going to have an option between an established new company that's barely two years old, you know, two years from now, AEW run by four workers. Or we can go up to Dinosaurville where Triple H, Ego God, is up there running trying to get me to. Where are you going? Are you going with the dinosaur? Guess what? Everything that he hated back in the 90s when they were fighting that war with WCW, he has become. Everything he hated before, he has become that himself. Mm. Go down there with WCW and all the dinosaurs. Guess what, pal? Congratulations. You're a dinosaur. Good luck. Good luck because the cool hip thing, the cool hip thing is down there in Florida. It ain't you. I'm not talking about NXT. I'm talking about Jacksonville. That's where the hip thing is. So you can live in your own little bubble, H, about how cool NXT is. Oh, we're losing money, but those takeovers sure are good. I'm a booking genius. Congratulations, because you're creating all these characters, and then your father-in-law, you're playing with his money, right? Your father-in-law grabs those characters that you create and flushes them down the toilet. Congratulations, you're a freaking genius. So keep yeah. launching keep launching bombs at, at AEW. Keep doing it. Go ahead and laugh about it with your buddies. And Shawn Michaels, too. Keep laughing about it. He's all of a sudden working down there in a performance center and turns into a dick overnight. Good. Good. Keep doing it because they're going to be scratching their heads. I'm telling you, dude, two, three years, they're going to be scratching their heads. Why can't we get anybody? Now, you did miss one of the steps in the process there. Before he flushes them down the toilet, he shits on them. Well, yeah. Then he flushes them down the toilet. <laughs> Good point. Good point by you. <laughs> so, All right, so there it is. There you got it. Wait, wait. Trip. Before you sign it out. Triple H. I need your opinion. I need the guy that's been watching this stuff for 15 years longer than I have. Let's get your opinion because you have seen companies come up and go, and disappear, don't even make it to the up point. We got AEW sitting there waiting in the ring wings, bro. They just hired a legend like Jim Ross. You think somebody's pissed up there? Tonight, he's launching bombs at AEW on his home. His, dude, he just got inducted into his own Hall of Fame. And he's more worried about the company called AEW than to just no-sell it. You, you think these people have ego problems? Are you kidding me? You're standing there in the middle of the ring with the greatest faction, arguably, from the Attitude Era, which was you, by the way, and you would rather take the time to launch bombs at your buddy that's working for a new company. How pathetic. Go ahead. The floor is yours. I want to hear this. I don't have a lot to say, but I'll say this. I think it's entirely Bush League. I think it's entirely Bush League. I think I'm, I'm shocked at the fact that they even mentioned AEW. I'm shocked at the fact that Vince McMahon let that happen on his Hall of Fame. It doesn't make sense to me. It's a bad business move by the WWE. It's a bad business move by Triple H. And I'll say this. 
If when Vince McMahon leaves, Triple H is going to be the guy running the company, he better learn some lessons before he takes that company over because what he did tonight was a mistake, and it's going to cost him. It's going to cost them. And if you say, oh, it won't cost them anything. The WWE is that big. They're not going anywhere. AEW will never take them down. That may be true. But it can cost him in other ways. When you come off like a, you know, it's funny because didn't he call Dave Batista? What was it? A self-deluded yeah. Uh, yeah. What, douchebag. Douchebag. Yeah, douchebag. Well, Triple H seemed to be a self-deluded douchebag tonight. So if you portray that self-deluded douchebag, you could lose by losing talent in the future. Mm -hmm. There could be guys who remember this and say, you know what? F that guy. Yeah. There's probably guys sitting in that audience watching him thinking, F this guy. I can't wait till my contract's up. Yeah. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. And you know what, Trips? Get over it. Get over the four that got away. Get over the fact that you're not an EVP. And get over the fact that the Khan family has more money than your wife's family that you married into. Ouch. And you know what, Trips? After Vince gets done playing football... You're going to have even less money to play with. Ouch. That's a fact. (laughs) I guarantee you that. You don't believe it? Go talk to, uh, you know, the guys over there at the AAF. Mm -hmm. See see how that panned out. Mm. So that's my opinion. I just think it's totally Bush League what he did. And... You know, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to listen to the whole thing. I'm going to watch the whole thing and try to get a real feel for it. Yes, me too. Because, you know, again, some people are saying that it was just, you know, DX being DX, it was just a joke. But to me, those comments about the EVP tell me it's not a joke. You know what else was a joke when they brought in a midget dressed up as Bret Hart? That was just a joke too. Mm-hmm. Remember when Brett went to WCW? Yeah, they were just joking around. It was just a joke just too a when joke. they had the fake Nash and the fake Hall. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just, just a joke. That was just a joke. Just, just a joke. It was nothing. Just mm-hmm. a joke. Yeah, he's just Come. pissed off that the, the four of them told him no. Yep, they said no to him. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. If that's all it takes, prepare for war. And I'm telling you what, dude, I'm telling you what, they could have, instead of lying about the location of their biggest show of the year, they could have just held it at Madison Square Garden, but they chose not to. And in came a company where they've been stealing for the past 10 years, their entire roster, with a company from the other end of the world. They walked into their house and beat the shit out of them. I don't even have to see WrestleMania tomorrow to know that, bro. Yeah, they they stole the weekend. So you know what? Get over yourselves. There are other things going on. And you know what? Keep keep doing what you're doing. You had your go-home show, and you pulled in two and a half million people. Meanwhile, the garden is full. Full, you have nothing to do with that. Meanwhile, you have another company with billions behind it. Starting a show in October. So good luck keeping your two and a half million. Because everybody, everybody in that, that stadium tonight, in the, in the garden tonight, what do you think they're going to be watching in October? And you know what else? It's kind of funny. When I read Sean's words, you can always count on old blank to overpromise and underdeliver. You know who that is? You can always count on old WWE mm. to overpromise and underdeliver. Yep. And we thank you for being out there and being all in on your PG, no story, no character shit show every Monday night. 
Thank you, WWE. <laughs> well said. Anything else, my man? Nope. That's it. Just a quick cut for you. That's going back in the old days. That's old school right there. Quick cut, ain't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> so for Hollywood Edwards, I am DJ Stame saying so long, and we'll see you next here, next time here on Soldiers of Shoot.